hello everyone welcome to my channel if it is your first time to be here thank you so much for clicking this video and to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for the love and the support so if you're new to my channel my name is Penina the grace you are welcome in the home of grace in this channel i share my life journey as a housemaid so kindly press on that red button that says subscribe click on the bell so that next time when i'll be uploading another video you will get notified before we start our today's video guys i really want to say thank you thank you so much thank you for the love for the support for the good comments okay you people are so amazing and may god almighty bless you for me so guys i like um there is a video that i made recently okay about the things that always make us stressed when we are working in saudi arabia so in today's video i've decided to make a video about how you can manage all those stresses and you enjoy your work keep watching if you did not watch that last video please i'll pin it in the comment section below you can go and watch it and then watch this one and relate and try to see about the things that i'm trying to talk about so in today's video like i said i want to talk about how you can manage all these eight uh how you can manage all these eight when working in saudi arabia so number one was language barrier okay was language barrier you know so many people let me say a for a foreign person in a foreign land you know most of the time if you go there you will be like oh how can i speak this language and it is hard sometimes right and most of us okay most of us so many of us we we can't speak the language because sometimes it might be hard or yeah and there are those quick learners and there are those slow learners so i want to tell you about this language barrier if you can't speak arabic please don't stress yourself don't stress yourself if what matters is the communication if you can communicate some little arabic it's not a must to speak the whole language please don't stress yourself like you must speak it no it is not a must if there is how you can communicate with your boss and you do your work well because you came to do your work you did not came to learn the language remember you came to do your work and not to come to learn the language so if you can learn it it's okay if you don't it's okay as long as you are doing the work that brought you in this country perfectly just be proud of yourself and if you can learn it as well congratulations it was about the skin color guys the skin color is the problem a lot of problem about it like these people will come and just tell you like you look dirty how are you black so many things and others will tell you like we don't like black people and they are the same people that are employing these black people and at the same time they are the ones that are rejecting them so it is hard sometimes you will be so stressed and now let me tell you about your skin color you are fearfully and wonderfully made and you did not even create yourself that way it is god that loved it is God that created you and he loved that color and that's why you are black. So just be proud of yourself. Whatever they say about your color, let this thing not hurt you at all because you are not the only one black person in that country. There are so many black people and just be proud of yourself. Love yourself and do your work with confidence because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Another thing was working about, uh, work for, another point was to work for a huge family and you know as a house manager if you are a house manager and there is a huge family okay you are the only person that will work for that family and now uh, for the stress i want you to manage this stress like this way if you are working in a home maybe there are uh, like maybe say 20 people uh, I want you to take one step at a time. Don't stress yourself like uh, these people are so many and uh, they give me a lot of work. No, just plan yourself. Like just do work one step at a time. Don't stress yourself like you should do everything in one day. Do everything. The ones that you'll manage in a day are the ones that you'll manage. Because remember, you are the only one person. Hmm? You are the you are the only person that will work for all these 20 people so just take things easy do one step at a time if it is cleaning just do cleaning slowly as you can okay as you can step remember this thing it is not like you are just doing it today and then it is done it is the work that you'll be doing for the next two years so just take your time and do everything as you can the ones that you will not manage that day remember tomorrow is another day so don't stress yourself and 
the point was about the names that they are calling us okay so the names i'm telling you sometimes it is so heartbreaking uh, you can feel bad you can feel very low you can feel so disappointed and bored but let me tell you like uh, it is better they call you those names than beating you or doing some other bad things okay let them call you after all they just call you me for, for only two years okay for only two years and all, everything that they will be calling you those names they are not actually even written on your body they are not written even if they call you like you are a dog and maybe somebody calls you here you are a dog and then you go and meet another person do you know that person will not know like you are called the dog because it is not actually written on your body so don't take it like um it is hard it is bad okay but don't don't let this thing eat you up like how can this person call me this one no just remember it is not even written on your body and you are not that name that they are calling you are not a dog actually you are a human being so just be proud of yourself of yourself and just tell god to give you strength so that you'll do your work and then you leave that family and if you go back at home nobody will know that you are being called like a dog or something else okay so just ask god to give you grace to finish your contract about the arab kids i can say actually yeah they don't have that respect at all. They don't have it at all. Now, what you will do about these kids? Just ignore them. Just ignore them. As long as they will not raise their hands and hit you, just ignore them. Whatever they will call you, whatever they will do, just ignore them. Okay? Just ignore them. Uh, as long as you can manage to do your work. And uh, if they are giving you that hard time that you don't have even time to rest tell their mother just try and tell your mother speak to her if she can understand if she doesn't understand at least you will be you have already told her about what is happening so let her know about you are going through than keeping quiet i remember there was a lady was like there was a lady uh, we, we shared with her how the kids were so arrogant and some used to beat her raise their hands can you imagine a small baby beating a house help you know it is so heartbreaking it is bad and if she tells their mother their mother will be like ah those are just kids just leave them as time goes by they will change and you know what these kids never change they will never change that is how they always behave and um, so the best thing that i can tell you is just ignore them ignore them and do your work just do your work and uh, always put god first always put god first and trust in him and he will give you the grace to overcome that okay so uh, take one step at a time another point is about uh doing the same thing like every day oh my god this point is i don't know it is so boring like every day you know you keep on like repeating and repeating and repeating what you did yesterday is what you will do today and is it is what you will do tomorrow like it's keep on repeating keep on repeating and repeating so what i can tell you about this point is um just try just try and forget like i did this yesterday so today i'm not supposed to do this no just forget about that uh just try and see like you are doing something new let every day see like every day uh, when you are doing your work you are doing something new don't see like ah, i did this thing yesterday so today no don't see about that just see do it like you are doing um a new thing okay just do it as you are doing a new thing and you will see like it is somehow very easy so but if you remember like ah, yesterday i did this again today again to, uh, tomorrow no you will find yourself like it is boring and even you will start even depressed okay you will be depressed so to avoid all these stresses and depression and everything just see like every day when you wake up it's a new day everything is new okay just take everything like it is new if it is cleaning just do it like you have never done it okay yes and that is how you will try and uh, and enjoy what you're doing yeah another point is um about staying away from our family you know like yes guys it is hard it is really hard to stay away from our family and uh, now what i can tell you now at least what can give you this relief is uh, 
try and talk to your family as you can as much as you can try to communicate with them i know sometimes it is hard and uh, there are those families like maybe uh, they will take your phone away from you and maybe they will be giving you your phone maybe once in a month yes i used to stay with a family like that like they used to give me a phone to speak with my family only once in a month and uh yeah, it was so hard, but at least I had a communication with them. So I want you to just um, take it easy. Don't see like it is something. Uh, uh, it is hard, but I just want you to take it easy because if they can give you an opportunity to speak with them like once in a month or once, once in a week, it is better than because there are those people that even don't speak with their families they completely don't speak with their family so if you have the grace to speak with your family once in a month just take it easy yeah take it easy i know it is hard but if you have an access like you can speak with the family so just try and speak with them uh as much as you can before you sleep try to speak with them and see how they are doing when you wake up in the morning uh before you start your work just say hi to them and then you start working i think this one will give you that um, strength and courage if you hear from your family like they are doing well and to those people that don't have any access to their family just be strong and um, god will see you through don't get stressed yourself god will protect you and god is protecting your children or your family back at home i know after the contract you will find your family doing well okay the point uh, is about the expectations and the reality. Yes, guys. Uh, every girl that is coming to Saudi Arabia, all of us are expecting. We all have expectations, okay? We all have expectations. And what actually we will find here, uh, it is different. It is very different with what we are expecting. Because everybody that is coming to Arab country, let me say in Gulf country, they are coming for... Uh, coming for greener pastures they are coming to work so that they can support their family they are coming to work so that they can get paid and they can support their family and to some families imagine you can come and work hmm? you might come and work and even work for six months without being paid sorry for that and it is the truth there are some ladies that are working without payment it is bad and it is so heartbreaking whereby you are coming to work so that you can support your family and now you here here you are you are working and you are not being paid it is so heartbreaking and if you are working if you are watching me and you are working in such kind of uh in an environment like that please try and do something about it don't just sit there sitting in a family working for six good months without salary and you are expecting that these people will pay you the truth is that they will not pay you so the earlier the better the earlier the better please just try and do something about it i've spoken about uh these conditions if you are working for more months and you are not get paid what you should do so make sure you watch those videos and do as i said okay make sure you watch those videos and do as i said and to those people uh, that are being harassed with their with the family that they are working for do as i said they like i say there are videos that i've spoken about them about the situation that you are going through it is not like everybody every arab is bad but there are those that are worse than demons they are those people that are being tortured they are those people that are being beaten they are those people that are being uh, sexually harassed there are so many bad things some are working without being given food so it is not the end of the road you can still do something about it don't just sit there for somebody to beat you remember you are somebody's mother you are somebody's daughter just like the way you are working to that family i want you to be in their shoes do you see them beating their children huh? do you see that have you ever seen them beating their children no the answer is no so don't let them beat you tell them you are somebody's daughter just remind them they know but please remind them okay so my advice for you please just call for help ask for help 
so that you'll be helped to get out of that danger because so many girls are dying because of that and uh, if you seek for solution the earlier the better yeah so guys we have come to the end of our video and remember if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you can share it with other friends you can share it with other families and let them learn something just the way we are learning you know we are family and we are all learning and remember if you have any question remember to put it in the comment section below somebody is there waiting for that question that you are asking and they will give you the answer so guys thank you so much and thank you for always being here uh, I just pray for all the house managers that God will give you strength and grace to overcome all that you are going through. And always remember that any difficulties that you are going through, don't just sit there and say like, I'm praying about it and don't you don't do something about it. The earlier the better. The earlier the better. If you can't go to the office if, or if you have tried to go to the office and they're not helping you, you have tried your embassy is not helping you, there is another way that you can help yourself, okay? There is another way that you can help yourself. Don't sit there until somebody take your life away from you. We still need you. We still need us. And you have not completed your work here on earth okay so guys thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye